Estimations, estimations. Okay, my boss is asking me to estimate, but which method to use? It's Christian from Vision 6D, and you see behind me a lot of the different methods. Methods are qualified by the, the perception we, we have of it. On the X axis, the horizontal axis, you will see that is the method more a perception, a feeling that we have, or is it more based on facts? So we'll evaluate the method based on this scale. On the vertical one, the Y one, it's how fast is the method. For example, fastest, they are the quick and dirty. And the longest are more tail. So if I take an example, often when we are into a project, we ask for an expert to come in, either a consultant or an expert. And we'll ask him, for example, I want to build that house with three bedrooms, one sitting room, kitchen and bathroom. How long is it going to take? And the expert, based on his expertise, is going to tell you it's going to last about three months. How much is it going to cost? 2,500 something, more or less. This is his expert judgment. Of course, he will need more time to do it. He will go more into details. But this is what we call an expert judgment. Features, it's fast, but it's not really accurate. The second method, which is the one that I see used by teams for software development or for many other projects, it's based on three different estimations. First, we do an optimist estimation. That is to say, if everything is going well into the project, how long is it going to last? example, we can say, okay, it's going to last three months for the construction of the house. Now, if we have some difficulty, you know that in projects it never happens as you saw it in the beginning. So we might say, what if there is too much water in the ground? We'll have to do something more. What if the customer changes his mind while he sees the construction? So maybe we'll say, it might be six months. So this is a pessimist judgment. You see that from three months, we jump to six months. So we will do a third evaluation, which is a mean one. Maybe we'll say, well, this was a bit extreme. Uh, let's put it somewhere between four months and a half. So this would be the middle after that, you can do a simple calculation where you calculate the optimist one plus the pessimist one plus the medium one, and you divide the result three, and you have your most possible uh, estimation. Now we have another method which is comparative. For example, you just built exactly the same kind of house. So then you are able to say by analogy, I can tell you that there the ground is a bit more harder, so we'll maybe need not three months, but three months and a half. Or you could say comparatively, in that version, they want an additional garage. So for this, we'll need two weeks. So since the ground is harder, we want a garage, then it might make it for four months. And the price accordingly is calculated and we'll say that it's about 275,000. This is by analogy. Of course, you will have to enter into more details to be able to do this, to be really comparable. And you see that all of those methods, they are refining the situation, but they will take more time compared to the expert judgment. The 
The parametric one is one that is computed, calculated, and is based on statistics. I won't enter into it, but be aware that it exists. The last one, which is the one called bottom-up, in which we use WBS, the work breakdown structure. So we are going to break all the works element in little chunks that we are able to really say, okay, this I know I need so many hours to do it. And all those chunks, we are going to sum them up. And in the end, you have the estimation of the complete project as well in time as in the bottom up one is the most accurate one. And for this, as I said, we use WBS. But it's also the longest to do. So usually we use it in a more detailed planning than the initial macro planning of a project. Whatever estimation method you are going to use, I encourage you to do it in a group. Do a brainstorming to estimate with your team. Have the people that will do the work help you in estimating the work. For me, it's always difficult to have a team where you've done as a project manager the estimation and you give them the work. And I also think it's always difficult as a project manager to ask the people to do the estimate. It's like that if you are withdrawing your project manager responsibility. Do the estimation with the people. Do it as a team. Do it in a group. So I used the three points estimates. And I could say to my boss that to build that house, it's going to be three months and a half. And he was really happy with that. It took me average time and I discussed with my team members and they all agreed with the different point that brought us to that conclusion. So I'm really happy that you now have some knowledges about estimation methods. You appreciated it. Thumb up. I hope to see you soon. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friend, comment.